we try not to use antibiotics unless we absolutely have to. And our goal is to not use any antibiotics at all. If we do have to use antibiotics to treat pigs that become sick, we have very stringent guidelines that make sure we don't sell any products to the market that could be contaminated. The products that leave here are very, very safe. When I was very young, we did have a, a small swine operation that I was part of where I helped take care of the pigs before going to school in the mornings and when I came home from school in the afternoon. When I was in kindergarten or first grade, the teacher asked the students, what do, you, what do you want to be when you grow up? I just stood up and I said I wanted to be a veterinarian. That seemed to be an easy answer anytime somebody asked me what I wanted to be. Okay, Lisa and I are going to go through Century Farms here today. There's about 8,000 pigs on this site, and we're going to examine the pigs and make sure they're healthy this morning. Anytime we do anything to a group of pigs, we have to record it, and we have to keep daily records. We've got the number of pigs that were in the barn, the high temperature and low temperature each day, and also we've got records on all injections that have been done. So these pigs have already received an injection of a vaccine for mycoplasma and circovirus. So let's go take a look. We wear clean coveralls and boots to make sure we don't spread disease from farm to farm. Okay, Lisa, see this pen, these are some of the smaller pigs that were placed into this room. They were weaned last Friday. Um, so they've been in here five days and there's quite a few of these pigs that have not found the feed yet, even though they've got a lot of feed available to them. You can see some of these pigs also have a kind of rough hair coat. They probably had a little bit of fever to them. You see a few swollen joints. We saw a little bit of diarrhea in the pen. Um, those animals need to be found and treated to prevent them from getting any sicker because diarrhea in a young animal like this can cause dehydration. And if there are some that don't want to get up to eat, that could be a sign that there could be some sort of infection going on or that pig doesn't feel well. I've heard a few of them cough and I see some swollen joints as well. If we could just maybe treat these pigs with some antibiotics to keep them from getting any sicker than they are, I think we're going to be able to save the vast majority of these pigs. All animals develop or get some immunity from their mother as soon as they're born. And that immunity in a pig it starts to wear off after weaning. So during the nursery phase, pigs are exposed to a lot of bacteria and they have to develop their own immune system. So when, a, when an individual pig gets sick, we need to treat that individual pig. And, and that will reduce the amount of bacteria that he sheds to his pen mates. My goal is giving them a timely antibiotic if they do get sick or a vaccine, which is preferred to actually prevent them from getting sick so that we don't have to use antibiotics very much. This is a pig that has struggled to get started on feed. He's eating a little bit. He's got a little bit distended belly, but he's also got some swollen, slightly swollen joints, and he's got a fever. I can actually tell by touching this pig that his, his temperature is a little bit higher than it should be. So we're gonna administer an antibiotic to this pig. That's a good broad spectrum antibiotic. We record withdrawal times for every product that's administered to pigs and verify that the withdrawal time is complete before we market those animals. Withdrawal time is established by the FDA, and that's basically the amount of time it takes after treatment with a specific dose of an antibiotic or a vaccine before that meat is then considered safe to be consumed. Okay, Lisa, we've got a good pen of pigs here. It looks like they've responded to treatment pretty well. They're all really alert. They've all got really full bellies, means they've really been eating very well. Overall, a good looking group of pigs. I'm involved in, in feeding, feeding the, the state, the country, the world. Um, and I'm really proud of being a part of the food supply in the U.S. I think that's a great business to be in, get to interact with a lot of wonderful people. And it's a very important job. I love it, absolutely. Mm -hmm.